Hey guys, happy motivation. Get your motivation. Ma, 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 motivation. Happy day, you guys. Happy September Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, so today I wanted to talk about how we can help support our mental health during the COVID-19 pandemic. Things are crazy. I know we have, we are well, several months into this and it's like where when will it end it seems like it keeps going and maybe our mental health starts to um decrease or we don't feel as confident as to the outcome of whatever's going on in your, your life you know everybody everybody has a story um but in the midst of this um COVID-19 of us uh, social distancing and wearing masks throughout. Some happens with our our mental health. And uh and I want you guys to remember that you know all challenges contrast in our lives serve a purpose. It serves us a steering wheel. Um it's almost a to guiding us to building up our strength or even coming up with new perspectives of life. Um, just like um, building up a muscle, it requires some type of hard work and pain. Um, so when we come into this time of life, which is a special time for us to really dive into our health and well-being, what, how can we support ourselves do this COVID-19. So I'm gonna give you four tips to help you with your mental well-being. Tip number one is looking at your food, 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 looking at nutrition. Um, some of the things, limiting things out of your diet, like sugar, sugar is a big addictive tool that really causes um, imbalances in our mental mind. Uh, we go up and down as our, our mind starts to race, especially when you need that fix of sugar or processed food. A lot of processed food, most processed food has sugar in it, some quality of sugar. We're probably um, taking way more sugar than we need. And so looking at your diet and trying daily to um, incorporate um, raw food when i say raw food it can be an apple you can have if you do have um diabetes or sugar imbalances berries would be your friend looking at berries strawberries wild berry mulberries blueberries berries would be your friend if you have issues with sugar but you can also make a smoothie that's raw food you can also have a salad or nuts so finding um in your day where you can actually really if you have a nuts just have like a handful don't have too much um they have you know so much too much fat sometimes but um but trying to slow down to support your digestive health helps your mental health have you ever been constipated can you focus? <laughs> How you feeling? You don't feel real good. You don't feel like you can make good decisions. So making sure that you're eating raw food and raw food will help turn on our digestive system because sometimes when we eat the um, the high, uh, like when we're cooking food, that has some toxins that comes out, what requires our body to digest, digestive system to work a little faster, a little bit more. So if we we allow it to slow it down by eating raw foods that kind of just ease throughout our system. Um, we're helping our mental health. So food, along with food, making sure that you're drinking water, staying hydrated throughout the day. Spring water, fresh spring water would be great. That helps again with your digestive system, helps the body feel energized, helps the mind because guess what? We're about 75% water and if we're not replenishing ourselves and allowing ourselves to release out some of the toxins out of our body, our mental mind will not be clear. 
Uh, and number three, sleep. We need sleep. All right. So sleep <laughs> um, is hard because guess what? Maybe a lot of us are still working at home and sometimes you can just roll it. You know, you don't really have to do too much effort to get ready for a meeting. Maybe you put some Aries on, put some on your face, wash your face, and then you're ready for the, you, <laughs> the meeting with your, like this where nobody can see anything. So, so your sleep is kind of, you know, you're really not putting a lot of effort in your bedtime routine and your morning routine. Make sure that you have a bedtime routine. So something where you are preparing your mind for rest. All right, so making sure that you are in the bed at this time. And then your morning routine, make sure you are preparing yourself for a more active day. So making sure that you're having those two set will help you rest um, throughout the day. So food, water, sleep, and most important, my fourth, fourth tip to help you with your mental health during the COVID-19 is meditation. I will say it a billion times and a billion times over. It is science behind meditation and how it helps, heals the body. If you are not practicing my meditation, please start today. Even if it's one minute, how I started my meditation journey, I had a clock every hour I would because I, I had a lot of anxiety, depression. I was going in and out. Um, I had a timer on my watch. Every hour, I just practiced taking deep breaths. And if you are someone who is super high strung and really get triggered about what's, what's going on in the world, really unsure, set you a clock, set you a timer. Every hour, practice deep breathing. Do it with me. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Another inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Just allowing that practice of breathing, slowing down, and practicing meditating on your breath and the sensation of what it feels like to be in your breath is mental health is allowing you to show up more authentically so more um more present into the until today's time and it's okay that things are going chaos this is your time to slow down and to go within and and finding more peace for you and for me. So my name is Venus Washington. Hopefully this video was beneficial. If you like it, please subscribe and also share to your friends who you think it will be beneficial. Check out my live classes on Venus Inspires Personal Training Facebook uh, every Mondays and Tuesdays. And you guys stay locked in. Thanks. Peace.